To a jet sport enthusiast, the arrival of summer means one thing, racing and lots of it. Fast and furious action, thrills and spills, victories and upsets, and the Prime Network Budweiser Watercraft Series. We begin today at San Diego's beautiful Mission Bay. The top racers are here and ready to do battle. The war will take them around the U.S. The victories will name new national champions, and you'll be with us every step of the way. Stop number one on the U.S. Tour, the West Coast Performance Nationals from San Diego, California. Everybody and welcome to San Diego, California for the first stop of the IJSBA National Tour, the Bud Jet Sports Series, the West Coast Nationals. I'm your host, Todd Harris, joined by former two-time world champion Larry Rippenkroger. Larry, we've got some great racing from the women today, as well as the Jet Sport class. Well, in the Sport class, it was formerly just the X2s out there. Yamaha this year has come out with a Wave Blaster. They've combined both machines into one class. It's going to be real interesting to see what happens there. All right, in the women, the name you always think about, Christy Carlson, and again, very impressive this morning in qualifying. Well, Christy did win the qualifier, but not without a serious challenge from last year's expert champion, Michelle Baines. Michelle has moved up to the pro class. She led for the first three laps. Christy did get by her and went on to an impressive win, but I think Michelle is going to be a serious threat this year. So we have the women's national champion, the expert women's national champion, an entire field of racers who'd love to take those titles away as we get ready for the pro women. Now the conditions today are ideal for racing. It's warm, it's a comfortable 70 degrees with scattered clouds and a slight breeze coming out of the ocean. The pro women are on the line ready to start their second moto of the day. Earlier the first moto was won by Christy Carlson. Christy Carlson on the pole, Tara Lejo right next to her, and there's a start, and Tara Lejo with a big jump off the line. Christy Carlson dragging that leg a little bit. This is the first time for her on that 750, Larry, so she may be making some adjustments at the line. And on the outside, Melinda McLaughlin trying to sweep around the outside, but Christy Carlson on the inside with a better line. Look at this. A battle now shaping up between Lejo and Carlson. Coming back towards the beach, Carlson on the inside. Christy Carlson getting a much better line in that inside buoy. Tara Lejo having to take the outside as they come around for the green flag starting lap number one with Christy Carlson in the lead. This is going to be interesting. Christy Carlson out in front now. This is her first season on the new 750. She switched from the 440 that she's more accustomed to. And right behind her is Tara Lejo from Lake Havasu, Arizona, 19 years old. And she could be one of the riders this year, Larry, that gives Christy a hard time. The start is always critical. Let's take a look now at the start. Christy Carlson closest to us, but Tara Lejo with a big jump off the line, already up on her feet. But Christy Carlson quick to take advantage of her skills. On the inside, a much better line, much tighter to the buoy. Not even going to look back. All right, back to live action. Christy Carlson still holding a very comfortable lead, and she's got such an aggressive style, Larry, it really sets her apart. You know, there's been a lot of talk over the years about what would happen if Christy Carlson got out and raced with the men, and I'll tell you, I'd like to see that myself. Tara Lejo right on her tail coming around that back buoy. It looks like it could be a good race, but she hasn't figured out how to close the gap on Christy quite yet. And that's a tough assignment these days. Yeah, indeed. Melinda McLaughlin in third place. She's a little farther back, so she's already starting to get some of the smoother water. And the race is really on right now for first and second between Christy and Tara Lejo. Christy out in front. Looking like she's adjusted to that 750 quite well. She made the switch over the winter. I talked to her. She's been putting a lot of time on the water. She actually expected to get a lot more competition this year, and it looks like that's exactly what is happening, is that Tara Lejo is looking very fast right now. All right, you can see Christy Carlson just moving out of the picture there, and she comes down the back stretch, getting a lot of speed, but she's starting to come up on some of the slower riders, experience a little bit of white water. That may slow her down just enough for Tara Lejo to catch up with her. Melinda McLaughlin getting ready to go into that back straightaway. She's looking pretty strong, but she's getting quite a bit of pressure now from the fourth place rider. And Christy Carlson staying on the gas, keeping low around those corners. And Larry, she really drops that nose in, and as soon as she comes out of that corner, she just hits the gas. That's exactly the key. Use your knees as a suspension unit on the machine. Your body has to absorb all the weight. You've got to keep that pump down in the water if you're not going to be driving forward. And one thing you'll notice about Christy Carlson is once she gets a lead, she does not look back. She does not check for other riders. She just keeps on the gas and waits for that checkered flag. 
She's a confident young lady, not worried about who's behind her, more focused on what's in front of her. And as you mentioned, she's coming into lap traffic, and this is where experience really plays a part. How well do you work the traffic? How quickly can you get by them? All right, Christy Carlson is our leader of the Prime Cup Women's Pro. We'll have more when we come back. And welcome back to San Diego, California, the West Coast Performance Nationals, the first stop on the Budweiser Watercraft Series. And it's no surprise, Christy Carlson is our leader at the present time with a 15-second lead on Tara Lejo, followed by Don Ward, Tammy Saracen, and Melinda McLaughlin. Well, it looks like all the work over the winter has paid off for Christy Carlson. She looks real smooth on the Butch's Kawasaki 750 right now. All right, she's got some stiff competition, though still Tara Lejo trying to track her down. But again, Christy is really distancing herself from the rest of the pack. The obvious work over the course of the winter really paying off for Christy right now. She spent a lot of time riding, preparing for this upcoming season. A lot of effort went into it with her mechanic, Bill Chapin, her coach as well. And she told me that she spent a lot of time training and riding with Jeff Jacobs, which certainly couldn't hurt. Tara Lejo doing something similar. She's riding with a lot of her ProTech Yamaha team members, and uh, she really looks confident out there. And we talked to her earlier, and she expressed that confidence a lot of timing with my teammates Rob Flores and Chris McCluggage and they're both doing really well in their class as well and that that helps me out the most in training and as far as you know having sponsors and everything I got the best ride there is on the beach as far as I'm concerned and that and that just sums it up right there I'm feeling pretty good well she may have the fastest boat out there in her opinion but right now the fastest boat is Christy Carlson and that's why she has the number one on there Larry Christy Carlson coming into traffic up over the log jump, looking very comfortable out there right now, working her way through the traffic. A lot of riders bunched up, and this is where things get real interesting. Again, experience is the real key here. You've got to take cleaner lines. A lot of times you're coming up on these lap riders, they don't even know you're lapping them. They think you're just trying to get around them to take a position away from them. All right, and there's Don Wood in third and Tammy Saracen in fourth, so we'll keep track of the rest of the riders, but right now it is Christy Carlson from San Diego, California, picking up where she left off last year. National and world champion looks very strong, and we get a quick look at Dawn Wood on boat four as she comes around the corner. Uh, a lot of this traffic they're picking up, though, again, is lap riders, and they have to deal with it, Larry. That is something everybody has to deal with on occasion. Earlier this morning, though, Christy had a little bit different ride. She got up in second place. Michelle Baines was out in front of her, but look at the, what happens here, the lines that Christy takes. She goes wide here. From this point, it make, looks like she's a little bit out of position, but no, she dives underneath, sets Michelle up, and goes right on by her. Nice, clean pass. Nice inside-out maneuver by Christy Carlson, and she really looked good in that first mode as she went on to victory. Back to action, though, and Christy Carlson, again, the footwork is key, Larry. Cornering technique is everything, and that's one of the things you'll see about Christy Carlson is the way that she gets around the corners, and that is really her advantage. Let's take a look now at this week's tip on technique. Notice Christy's foot positioning, left foot forward, right foot back, but her left ankle is actually pushing on the side rail of the ski, helping to roll into the turns. Tara Lejo is doing much the same, but standing further back in the tray, that has more to do with hall configuration more than her individual technique. Back to action, Don Wood crosses the line and the white flag comes out. She is presently in third place. Christy Carlson, a sizable lead, and all she has to do now is take care of these last few buoys and she will be the winner, Larry. Well, this will be a big confidence booster for Christy Carlson, winning moto number one and number two, the season opener. That's a great way to start the season off. Christy Carlson coming down the last few buoys. As the white flag comes out for the rest of the riders, the checkered flag comes out for number one, Christy Carlson. That's got to feel good. I know that the years I was racing, you just never know. Coming into the first event, regardless of how hard you've trained, you really don't know what your competition is going to be like until that first event. All right, as Christy Carlson goes into the impound area, we watch the rest of the riders as they finish up this second moto. Tara Lejo will take second place out of Lake Havasu City. A good ride for her. Dawn Wood on boat number four. She maneuvers around the last few buoys. She will finish up, it looks like, in place number three, barring any man. Oh, just squeaks by. So Don Wood does get third place. Let's go down to David Stanfield, who's with our winner. Thank you, Todd. Well, Christy Carlson was unsure about her racing skills, how they'd stack up against the other ladies, because she didn't race any preseason races, particularly the ones in Florida. But here in San Diego, you show that you are the world champion. Congratulations. Yeah, well, today was definitely testing grounds for riding my new Kawasaki 750. And I'm really pleased with the turnout. Some of the pressure's been released now that I know how I stack up. 
Now, the ladies out there uh, are very strong, very powerful, and they're not holding back at the start. Your starts uh, weren't perfect, especially in that second moto. Yeah, I started off a little bit later than the two girls next to me, and I saw the door closing. I thought, oh no, this could get ugly. <laughs> but fortunately, I was able to hold my inside line, and Tara bobbled a little bit, so I was able to pull ahead. And we were side by side into that, down that side straight away into the, the sharp left hand turn. And fortunately, I came out ahead. So it's Christy Carlson winning the Prime Cup Women's Pro. The overall standings look like this Christy Carlson, Tara Lejo, Don Wood, Tammy Saracen, and Melinda McLaughlin. When we come back, we'll have the men's sports class. <laughs> 